one of the best things about the Dark Souls 3 community is that despite the game's age, which, you know, it's not that old, but obviously activity has died down quite a bit, there's still a lot of great content creators, streamers, a lot of people doing, like, a lot of cool stuff. And so it's Saturday morning. I decided to uh, sit down, have some coffee, and uh, watch a stream. So I decided to check out my dude, Ibarbo, uh, aka the Fallen Knight 92. That's his name on Twitch. And for those of you who don't know, this dude is like one of those backstab gurus, menu swapping badasses. And uh, that was my attempt at uh, a menu swap from a parry. Didn't get it. But not all is lost. So, with all these people out here doing all this, like, wacky, fun tech and all this, like, weird, cool stuff, um, there's no shortage of ways to play this game, and I love it. So I'm watching Barbo, and I'm thinking, like, alright, I'm gonna learn to do some, I'm gonna do a weapon swap. I'm gonna do one, damn it. That's my, that's my goal for this Saturday morning, sitting here drinking my coffee see this one-handed hammer and I'm like oh baby give it to me <laughs> one of the most fun things about this playstyle is that it's just that it's it's so fun man it completely removes any sort of competitive aspect from the PvP um, you know even in invasions there's this you know I've got to be smarter than the other guy I've got to be better than the other guys you know you want to win you want to beat them when you're doing this kind of stuff that Barbo and Goof and you know all these guys, there's 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 a lot of guys that do this kind of stuff. Um, when you play this way, you're competing with yourself more than you are anybody else. Um, I don't want to say self-absorbed, but yeah, kinda. Not in the not in the way you're thinking though. Not self-absorbed like self-important or anything like that. It's just, you're competing with yourself. Can you do better than the last thing you did? So, in this invasion, I'm thinking, like, alright, I'm gonna do some cool backstabs. I'm watching Barbo do, like, crazy stuff, man. He's, like, he's doing roll backstabs. That would've been a nice one if I'd got it. He's doing roll backstabs, but he's, like, swapping weapons mid-roll. Like, from his menu, he's swapping weapons mid-roll. It's just lunacy. So, you know, I'm watching this guy, and he's got me competing, trying to outdo myself, you know. And I watch guys like Pincognito, Pinko, you know. He's been around for a while. Most of you guys who are on this channel, I assume, like, most of you guys have checked out Pinko by now. When you watch Pinko stream, he's trying out these backstabs, and, you know, I'm always chastising him. I'm like, dude, kill some of the guys first, and then do the backstabs. And then I go out, and I start invading, trying to do this. Then what do I do? Do I kill the guys first? Hell no. I'm in a 3v1, trying to do all this crazy backstabs and weapon swaps and shit. <laughs> Shout out to this host, by the way. Um, dude was in Barbo's stream, I believe. Uh, if, I'm, if, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. He was in Barbo's stream, and he was hosting with Dried Finger so that, you know, we'd have somebody to invade. And, you know, he would summon in the Blue Spirits. Oh, people hate on it, whatever, but when you're wanting to practice and do all this wonky stuff, there's nothing worse than just not finding an invasion. I welcome the chaos. Please bring me the chaos. Speaking of chaos, we got a Seed of the Giant Tree active, so I'm going to run over here and I'm going to get all the enemies involved. I want everybody involved in this shit, and this is going to kind of help me dwindle their numbers down a little bit. They can't all focus on me. They can't just solely focus on me. They gotta focus on some other stuff too. Now, I'm using the mace. The reason I'm using the mace is because I went into my menus, and um, originally I was using the war pick. But I went into my menus, and I swapped the, the options around so that I could just press open menu, weapons, up, and I would go from the mace 
to the great sword. The great sword. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look how bad that was. This is such a mechanically foreign. It's so alien to someone who's never done it before. Um, it's just, it's lunacy. Now, I've gotten some cool backstabs, so not all's lost. I'm cool with the backstabs we got. But, you know, the host is still out there. Let's go find him. And, I, again, he's hosting for us, you know. So I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, just stomp this dude into the ground. One, he's a good player. But two... You know, he's, he's the guy who's making the invasions happen, so... I'm trying to do, like, some fun stuff with him. Not necessarily worried about trying to kill him. The problem is the other red just wants to kill him. Now, I don't want to be, like, Debbie Downer to the other red, so I'm helping him out a little bit. But I'm also not trying real hard to kill this host. Um... I almost got him there, though. Like I was saying, though, go into your menus, and if you want to do, like, these weapon swaps, um, you know, find an option, whether it be, like, by attack power, by effect, by weight. Find an option to where the weapon you use mainly can easily swap to the weapon you want to, to do the swap with. It's so cool when it works, man. It's so cool. And, like, you just can imagine... The guy you're fighting, the guy on the other side of the screen, you know, he gets parried and he sees you using a mace. And then that mace disappears and in its place is like the great sword or the great club. And you know there's just like this, oh shit. <laughs> you know there's just this moment of like pure panic where they're like, oh no, shit just got real. I love it. Now, I'm, you're watching me learn. I ain't playing, man. Go check out iBarbo's YouTube channel. Or, you know, check him out on Twitch, The Fallen Knight 92. I'll put a link to him in the description of this video. This dude does, like, full armor swaps. Head, chest, arms, legs. He swaps it all out in between a parry and a repost. It's, it's lunacy. Practicing my rollback stabs here against this guy. One of the reasons I like roll backstabs so much is because the other person doesn't have to be super aggressive for them to work. Now here, this is my first one. This is it. This is my first weapon swap. I was so hyped, I actually pressed record and stopped saving the invasion a little early, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The host dies, whatever. That, that's not what matters. What matters is you straight parry that, and then that war pick turns into the Grey Club. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. So now this dude doesn't have a weapon, so I know I'm not gonna get any like cool parry swap. But what I can do is work on a backstab. How are you? Now, whether you know it or not, the female spider is a half-blind, savage carnivore who will eat any insect she can get a hold of, including the male of her own species. Quite obviously, this makes life a rather perilous business for the male spider, especially if he happens to have licentious tendencies. So... I've backstabbed Chaos Bed Vested just before by running around, but never the Soul Arrows. And the Soul Arrows are really good spells, precisely because they're so fast. But I was able to try it, kind of test myself, and I got it there. And in order to affect the mating and escape from his life, he has to be both ingenious and exceedingly agile. Well, what about the male human? But like I said, that's one of the things I picked up on watching guys like Barbo is testing the last cool thing you did and trying to beat it. And it's as far as like I'm telling you, man, this is like 
the saltiest, the least saltiest way to play the game in the world. When you're trying to do all this goofy, wonky shit, and somebody beats you and they point down on you, or like they throw duty on you, it's impossible to take that seriously. Almost. And it's, I don't know, it's just, it's so much fun. It's just pure, unadulterated fun. It's, 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 there's a purity to it that I can't explain. But what's great about it is it's one of these things that like, I mean, you can do it. Anybody can do it. Just, you know, try it. You're going to freak out and not get it right at first. But when you do, oh man, it's so worth it. One, it looks cool. Two, it feels cool. Uh, it's just great. But it's like I was saying earlier, it's it's so mechanically foreign to parry. And there's so much time in between a parry and a repost. One thing you can do to kind of gauge what I'm talking about here is parry somebody and don't do a swap, but just hang out for one second. Give it one second sort of hang out for one second after you parry and look at how much time you had to take that repost and it'll give you a sort of feel for um, you know how much time you have to actually do these like swaps practice them a few times I mean in the in the span of one day I went from never having done this to being able to do it a simple weapon swap again I'm not doing an Ibarbo full armor swap I'm just doing a simple weapon swap it's easy you can it, try it just try it. It's, it's fun as hell. I don't know if I've said this before or not, but the reason I'm using the mace um, is basically because it, it allows me to make the other players aggressive. Uh, I can just swing R1 at them, not do like a whole shit ton of damage, but I'm hitting them and it doesn't look like I'm just fishing for backstabs or it doesn't look like I'm just fishing. Oh my god, are you kidding? The double parry into the great club swap. Come on. Against the overleveled phantom? Get out of here. He wasn't that overleveled though, so. You know, but still. It's the thought that counts. Anyway, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And I hope you go out there and give it a shot. Most importantly, I hope you'll check out iBarbo's YouTube channel, aka The Fallen Knight 92 on Twitch, and see this stuff for yourself. I'll throw a link in the description. Later, y'all.